and welcome back, everybody, to the the, the finale. Actually, this is going to oh, be the I end. Gotta, I gotta move the mic. I gotta move so the mic. Now, now right. we're going to okay. we're going. Oh, I remembered something here. You have to get away from the the hut before you say the rhyme, or, or it sits on you and kills you. The hut will sit on you. Yep, the hut can kill you. Wow, I love that a limerick is an option. How did I, I got my foot stuck under the mic stand? Hold on. Don't do that. Okay, here I am. Okay, now now it is time to meet. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga! Um, uh, this is what everything's been leading up to right now. Where is he? Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! I legitimately got scared! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's the... He's been in my nightmares! I've seen him before! She! she. What?! Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at the audio waveform on that. <laughs> it's so great! Oh my god! Oh, you shrieked so good! Oh! Oh! oh. That was a legitimate fear. <laughs> that oh that gosh. may be one of the most genuine shrieks I've ever heard out of you. I'm very. Oh my gosh! Oh! Okay, the video can end now. <laughs> that was it. That is so scary. That's what it reminds me of. What's that? The Tom Sawyer devil. Oh, yeah. That's why it scared me. Or more like uh, the uh, uh, Indian Jim. Yeah. Oh. Not J Indian, Morton, Indian Joe. Indian Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my god. That's gosh. what it kind of looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that may I can see that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so so what we've been shrieking over, Baba Yaga turned us into a frog, and her spider and bat have been debating with her over, over how to cook us. So now she um, um, she's going to give us a chance to do a favor for her in return for her not killing us. Oh my gosh. And uh, of course, as we can see, the inside of her hut is, uh, is basically an evil TARDIS, bigger on the inside. Ah. Um... I don't know if we ever explained it in a previous episode before. What's that? Not not of this, but just in general. Yeah, yeah. Just because I just kind of just said Times Tom Sawyer Devil, and people might not understand. Oh what yeah, the hell I don't think we talked about. about that before. I f feel like it was very significant early on in our friendship. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I kind of forgotten about it honestly, but I don't think we've ever mentioned it on the show. But if you have a second, yes, maybe we have mentioned this. I don't remember. No, if I don't think a, we have. If you have a second. Go on YouTube and look up um, the Adventures Tom, of Tom Sawyer. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. It's a claymation animated movie. It might be the Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. It's yeah, it's something like that. But there's a scene where they go on this elevator to different parts of different stories and different versions of um, what's his face? Oh, uh, why can't I think of his oh, name? Mark Twain. Mark Twain. <clears throat> yes, of his um, novels and stuff. Oh, so maybe it's the Adventures of Mark Twain. No, no, it's it's Tom Sawyer. I'm pretty sure. Okay, whatever it is. Um, I think you're right, too. They're, they're on an elevator going up and down, and they get to a place where they go to the devil. Yes. And they talk with the devil, and it's probably the creepiest, most unsettling kids movie thing yes. that has ever been made. Absolutely. Um, so go look it up on YouTube. I'm sure it's on YouTube still, because that's the first place I saw it. Then we bought it. Then we bought it on Blu-ray and watched it all over again. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty much everybody that we know has seen it at this point. Oh yeah, because it's, we, it's we, so it's so good and weird. And what is happening? Uh, <laughs> I love you did that when they showed up in the first one too. I love it. <laughs> Just every time, I'm not ready for it. Um, <laughs> He's so rubbery. But yeah, go look it up. It's, yeah, Adventure Time Story. It's so good. That, I think that's why I screamed. Even more, the fact that that was so frightening that face. Oh right, because yeah, because there is a part oh in the Adventures of Tom Sawyer where they go to Injun Joe. Yes, sorry, and I didn't get it's to that. just it's just this this evil looking Indian claymation Indian that tries to stab, and it looks kind of like that Baba Yaga face. So, so, so scary. So now I'm going to use the undead engine because, as you see, I'm getting close to the graveyard. Whoa! Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? Whoa! Now that could be because the coloration is freaking out. You're going to see it. It's going to go crazy in a minute. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Dark spirits frolic at night. Look at that skeleton! Yeah. He's having a dance party. So I grab the... Lester Moore's trying to get out of the grave there. <laughs> I grab the mandrake root, and foolishly, I didn't go to my inventory to see what it looks like, but because it looks like a screaming baby, which is kind of creepy. Does it really? Yeah, a little bit. Do you ever look at it? I failed to. I, 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 I'm sorry. I failed everyone. Man. 
So basically, the, the thing about this is, you have to do that within the course of one night. Oh, okay. So you have to do that before the sun comes up again. So if you didn't think to buy that potion, you've oh. got to go, hope that you can still get in touch with the, the, the potion maker, buy the potion, then get to the graveyard. If you go to the graveyard without the potion, they straight up kill you. I think I show that um, coming up. And then, you, you, so it's just, it's, yeah, if you weren't prepared for it, it can go pretty crazy. I don't know why I keep, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm never going to get over that. I know, it's it's so unsettling. Now, no, you know what, I can't. I was going to say, we should make the thumbnail that face oh, from the last episode. But you don't want to give it away. I don't want to give that away. You don't want to give it away. I got to do something with that it's face. So, it's so oh, scary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what we can do? We can do, actually. I'm going to, I'm going to, a little bit of behind the scenes talk during an episode. Oh, no. Um, at the end of this, I actually have about five minutes or so, uh, give or take, of uh, footage from the original, like, 16 color version of this game. Oh, okay. I hit a couple of main points that we've seen already. So, and, but I also have in a separate file some Easter eggs, one that I missed in this game, and two Easter eggs from Quest for Glory 2. The reason I'm just, I'm going to show those is because we're not going to play Quest for Glory 2. Okay. It's it's old. It's text based. It would take me too long to, to get through it in a comfortable way. Okay. So what we maybe we could do is it's just, just a quest for glory, right? Like an Easter egg redo kind of thing. So like when this actually ends, we'll end it, and then we can find a way to we will record those other th like three items and together. put them together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it'd be like a quest. We would still continue it in this series. Yeah, so in this series, three, but it'd be like the last videos. bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It'll be like a little fifteen minute like special feature, shall we say? Okay. Is it a separate episode? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it as a separate episode. And you're saying... And then you can use the face. Oh, okay. That, yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah. Um, what are we doing with Baba Yaga right now? What's okay, so now we, we just... We have just met her, and she has basically made us do a thing for her and let us go. So... And we were a frog at some point? Yes, yeah, she made us... Every, she likes making people into frogs. So now... We, we know what she is. We know what her deal is. Right. Because we don't know how to deal with her, though. Okay. So now, what we're going to do... Oh, now what I'm going to do is show you what happens if you go into ghosty place without the undead ungent. Ungent? 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 Mm. Potion. I ain't afraid of dying. <laughs> oh, even better. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> I would tell you, when I first... um first saw that movie, which was way, way too late. Like, I definitely wasn't young enough to appreciate it. Oh. But when I first saw that movie, I, um, my dad had watched it, and I was like, I'm going to watch Ghostbusters. And he's like, the only good thing about that movie is the theme song. Hmm. And I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I yeah. really, I'm not a fan of that movie. I'll be honest. It's very dry. It really is. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Bill Murray. I love Bill Murray. I love Ernie Hudson. Um, I, 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 Dan Aykroyd, I'm okay with Dan Aykroyd. I like Dan Aykroyd. Oh, I think this is where... Okay, no, I'm just gonna go rest for the night. Soon, soon the, um, the game engine freaks out on me. Oh? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it, it, it turns into an acid trip. It's great, for a little bit. And I freak out, because I'm like, am I, am I done? Like, am I actually done? <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I just, I didn't, like, it had moments. Like, I'm not gonna say it's a bad movie. No. It definitely had its moments. But, like, I don't know, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to everybody who absolutely adores that movie from their childhood. Here's but, the thing, it's like a cult classic. Yeah. It's like, people will have posters of it, people know the theme song. Yeah. Um, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is, like, it's great. Iconic. I mean, that's cool. That was a cool thing. But like, it's it's like overly iconic for what it is. Yes. Like people, I would say it, it gets categorized like up there with like Indiana Jones, Goonies, yeah. and like stuff like that. And it's like, it's not the same. Exactly. Well, it's, I don't like Goonies either. I, 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 I was just trying to put it in yeah, the same I get like, you, I character get um, trait. Um, but now I do, I do love Indiana Jones though. Yeah, I, I was going to say I would love Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones the top. only, only the three that they actually made. There's only three movies. There's what only three. There's only I did, three the movies. other one was a nightmare that I had. I did, I did not have that nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I paid to see that movie in the theaters. I hate myself for that. Like, ugh. there's a young Indiana Jones game that we need to play. That you know, you know, it's funny. The young Indiana Jones stuff is actually pretty good. 
It's on the. I think it's on the NES or the Super Nintendo. I can't remember. I think but it's there's Super There's a game N- called Young Indiana Jones. There's also there's also a really good Super Nintendo Indiana Jones like Adventures of Indiana Jones game. <gasps> That's what I. Okay, this is what we. Have to, I forgot about this. There's an action adventure game for the N64. That's Indiana Jones. Really? And I saw some screenshots of it, and I think we have to play it because okay. it looks pretty silly. Absolutely. So, oh, sidebar, what's going? I'm now giving the the potion maker all of the items to make me the potion. Oh, yeah. So she's gonna she's gonna now, make me the dispel potion. Baba Yaga put Elsa under the spell. Yes, yes, she did put Elsa under a spell. So, okay. And the part where you needed to go to the to the the brigands is that what it was? That's with the last the, that's area the last thing that I do? haven't really dealt with yet. Okay. And so are now, you ever going to? I'm going to now, actually. Oh, okay. So now, do you remember way back in the first episode, uh-uh. I found that that crumpled up piece of paper in the bar, and I was like, "This is a thing that I don't pay attention to, but I should have." Yes. Okay. The so, thing that's right there. Yes. So if I went back to the bar. Mm-hmm. I would have found another crumpled up piece of like a couple days later. I believe that's how it works. I found another crumpled up piece of paper that says something about midnight, uh, or no, no, noon. It says something about noon and the archery range. And archery range? Yes, there is an archery range. You'll you'll see it. I haven't uh, haven't gone to it yet. First, a quick stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming in. <laughs> <laughs> quick stop, so we can uh, we can buy some upgraded armor. Mm. Don't need it, but we're gonna buy it. You'll be needing your leather armor, money, and I'll show you a discount. <laughs> there you are. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> I'm going to have any Chris, my boss. <sighs> oh, that, uh, that movie hurts me a lot. Yeah. So now I see 36 gold pieces. I think each six gold pieces. I think each gold is like 50 or 100 silver. It's one of those types of economies. We skipped ahead a little bit there. Yep, skip. Good. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. That's okay. Yabbity, yabbity. Did you die to the ghost? Did I miss that completely? Y- oh, yeah, we talked over it. Oh, sorry. It's all right. We were both talking. That's all right. We it's were right. both talking. You'll, 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 you'll see it on replay. The Don't audience saw it. I'm going to do this. The. Oh, okay. So. Hard way. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I thought. I was going to do this the hard way. Oh, no. <laughs> it never This is another out of me failing to do, th- like, my memory didn't work. So I'm like, I can just, yeah, I can just go here and fight all the guards, right? Hey, um. Okay. No. So you just died. Um, remember when I said in the first episode, get used to that, that music? Yeah. Yeah, this is where we're going to, we're going to start. Everybody start to start enjoying that music. Why? What happened? <laughs> What'd you do? No, I'm just, I'm going to do a lot of stupid. Oh, I think no. maybe I pull the shield out. No, because <laughs> I, 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 I believe there is a way. Ha ha. That was a dirty joke. I missed um, that. Yeah, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Quest for Glory 3? Yeah, because remember I said Quest for Glory 3 and this were produced at the same time. Oh, wow. So they threw a little reference to it in there, even though it's not a character from Quest for Glory 3. So yeah, so no, so it didn't work. So I'm like, all right, fine. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll do this the hard way. I will just do this the hard way. I'm going to go. Why did I go back? Oh, I think I'm going in to get some health potions just in case. Sorry, I'm eating peanuts. It's, it, I just made a bunch of noise that I shouldn't have. If you hear the crackling, just assume that that it's Jesse's scales flaking off. He's molting. I'm molting. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... So I come back in here. But you still have apples. How'd you get apples again? Oh, I, I bought some more just because. Oh, okay. That's fine. And that's, yeah, she refuses my mushrooms because I, refu- I ruined them with toadstools. So now down we go to the archery range. Oh. Problem is it's not noon. It's like morning. So that means I have to go run around. I do this thing where I run around, try to tire myself out with a fight. Mm. Like here. And then I would rest. Go okay. back. If it wasn't time, run around, fight, rest, go back. Right. That sort of a thing. So I, I do this for a while, and I left in another goblin battle just because... Just look at him. Look at him waiting there. Look at him calmly waiting. <laughs> go! 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 What was his name? The real goblin? Oh, uh... uh oh, dang it. Yeah. Skidoo, wasn't it? Something like no, that. No, it was close no. like that. It was like... It's, it's like... It was started with an N, I feel it like. It did. It was a real... Nickaroo! It was Nickaroo! Nickaroo! Nickaroo, the real goblin. The real goblin. Not like sneaky. 
Not like Sneaky. No, Sneaky... Sneaky's a failure. Sneaky's a disappointment. <laughs> Just increasingly harsh on Sneaky for no good reason. Sneaky sucks. Sneaky's <laughs> terrible. Everybody hates Sneaky. Ah, but now we come back and Leonidas and... Nice. <laughs> and, um... Leonidas. <laughs> Uh, oh, who's the guy? Kevin McKidd. Leonidas and Kevin McKidd. Oh my gosh, I thought you were are, with Kid Rock or something. No, no, no. Are having a discussion. Um, so basically, these guys are brigands. Oh. Now, the Leonidas looking one, I actually, I missed missed it, but if you're, if you run past the town, because that's the thing, if I was playing this normally, I'd be going in and out of the town, refilling my food, resting at the inn, that sort of thing, and I would have seen him because he sits outside the town and sells you information. Half of it's bad, half of it's good. It's, you know, um, I, I forget if I leave any of that in because I do eventually go and talk to him. But the other dude is a generic brigand. So basically, these two guys generic. are planning on waiting until the hero, our character, goes, fights through the brigands and fights with the um, the leader, who they're referring to as a she. Oh? Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait, does that mean Baba Yaga is not nah, Baba Yaga. Oh! So interesting. Uh huh. Wait, so she doesn't need saving after all? Is that the she, idea? She does. She's under a spell. Uh huh. So very cool. Okay. So basically, they know where a secret passage is. They said it's where the bouncer is. If you remember the first episode, we killed a bouncing creature, the Antwerp. Yep. Um, there's a password called Hide and Go Seeky, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, so basically, but they have the only two keys to this cave with that password. Um, that password I can use, I don't, but, well, I do eventually. That password, there's a troll guarding the cave. Okay. So if you shout that password out before you enter, the troll will leave you alone. Cool. Now, I have to kill one of them for the key. You can't kill Leonidas because Sparta. But, which this, really? this was way before that. But yeah, no, you can't kill that dude because he's a he's a, like a dialogue character and they just didn't program it in. So I get a dagger. Oh, because you can't just come in from the side because you can't actually get in to fight him. So they programmed it so that if you run in that way, you die. So I decide to run around and not be dumb now. I'm gonna be not dumb now. Yep, be not dumb now. Okay. So I go around. So uh, like the, the the archery ranger to the right. I'm gonna go down to the right and then up. Okay. And I'm gonna and I'm okay. gonna actually like face this dude. Uh, oh no, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So I come down, see him. Now down we go. And one to the right. Walking leisurely. Why didn't I run? I'm not sure. <laughs> and Leonidas kills us. What the heck? Then where do you go? That's where I have to go. Wait, what? Yep, that's where I have to go. So how do but, you... but I don't get it yet. So. What? I'm so confused. Okay. Let's try this again. Wait, I'm I'm super confused. If you can't, I know. this is tough. This is tough because they don't. And oh and, my gosh, what the heck? I went the other way. What? Where do you even go? Oh boy. Oh goodness. <laughs> Get used to this. Music. This happens a lot. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So like you see, you, you can't do anything. So eventually, I realize. It's best you have to walk around a little bit, give him time to leave. Oh my god. Then come up. Wow. And I can fight this guy proper. That's ridiculous. How are you supposed to know that? I cut out several more deaths. Really? Yeah. Wow. I cut out a lot. I died a lot there. <laughs> and if I'm like, you you will die. <laughs> I got him fast. <laughs> Down you go. I'm not dealing with this again. <laughs> so now I've got the key. Well, and wait, th was the Sierra logo on the star screen there? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, it's cool. it's on the um that menu screen. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, -uh. Uh, I'm proud of that joke. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So the the archery range actually is a kind of a warning of an upcoming enemy too. The troll. Uh, no, that's the, that's uh, something else. Oh, it was a little hard to to see, but you'll you'll see what he is. Oh boy. 
So I have to get close enough to see where the lock is before it'll let me do it. No, you hurt. can't see it from that far. I start freaking out like, why? Those, why? Those oceans away distance of <laughs> a couple extra feet just made it not possible to see. The rock does not move. There we go. Ah, the keyhole so in the now, crack of the rock. I go in. And is this the part with the troll? Yes. Now, now you, you get to, to see the troll. I don't. This time, this time I, seeky? this time I just go in and fight him because oh. because we, because you want to see the troll. You yeah. want to see the 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 goofy claymation troll. I mean, come yeah, on. I mean, yeah, I do. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Pardon me. No? What's this gonna say? Well, what is this guy even gonna say now? I don't. I don't remember why I. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yep. Because I was like, now we're, now we're, now we're ramping up towards the end. We're ramping up towards the end. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, goofy troll. <laughs> You're so look goofy. At him. Look how clay he is. He's so great. He looks like a stunned cheetah. He looks afraid. Yeah, he does. <laughs> what? What? Like senile. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. Yeah, no, no troll clubbing. <laughs> I love that too. You find nothing on the troll but hair. You find, oh, thank you, game. Wow. Thank you for that. Now, here. What? I hear the drip of water. Yes, okay, good. Now what? Now, the enemy that was kind of hinted at. Um. Yeah. A minotaur? A minotaur. Cool. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Stupid job guarding the place. Grumble. <laughs> now, that was a thing. The good ear is very bad peripheral vision. You could sneak past him if you were a thief. Oh, okay. But I walk out. Ha <laughs> ha! Here I am. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at how rubbery. Don't hit me my loincloth. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I love that they painted in the loincloth. Look at his abs. Yeah, oh yeah. They're like heck? concave. <laughs> yeah. So he was simple enough. I'm bad. I don't know why that's there. Why? I, you know, it must be a reference to like a commercial or something. Wait, that's like the only time you've talked. Oh yeah, it might and, be. And like the, in the whole game. Because <laughs> you just answer by picking yes or no's. You know, or asking yeah. questions. You don't really speak out. Yeah, for the most part. What the what? heck? I ate some rations. I don't remember why. It's important. I just, I check my stats, I guess to make sure I'm not dying. I don't, I don't know. I don't have, oh yeah, okay. I, I guess I did get hurt a little bit after fighting the two big guys. Well, whatever. So, yeah, rest, rest up. Oh, my stamina must have been down, that's it. Uh. So, so now to enter the brigand fortress. Oh wow, we did it. Yep. A warning bell to alert all the brigands in the fortress. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> the sign reads ring bell. Now, I missed this clue. The quotations on strong is supposed to imply that the gate is not strong. Uh, but then it says ring the bell. So I go, oh, all right. And then you die. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, and dead. Oh. So it's supposed to be like strong door. Yeah. So you'll see. So now, so I kill him again. Oh man. And because you can't get enough of of goofy claymation troll. I oh mean. no 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 no. He's great. <laughs> I love him. He's so bewildered. Yeah. Why does troll tum tum hurt? <laughs> Oh, now I'm sad for him. <laughs> I've made myself <laughs> sad for him. You're like, oh, oh no. <laughs> and here we are with, uh... Back to the Minotaur. Minotaur. Which I don't, I don't know if I paid attention to it or did it, but apparently his flail is hollow and there's gold in it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I do it this time. Okay. All right, here we go. So. Now we're going to get in there. Now Not we're gonna... getting shot. This time. This time. Let's go for the door. So I'm like, do I use the sword on the... Maybe I just... Do I climb it? Oh, I just don't remember. I'm not using the bell. Have to force it open. All right. Okay, game. <laughs> I 
Uh, that didn't work. Boy, that felt good. Um, <laughs> yep. It did work. Oh, that's okay. it. That's it. That's funny. Yep. This the, the the solutions here. Oh my goodness, I love it. Sierra, thank you, Sierra. Point and clicks. What was that? <laughs> Told you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No point and clicks. They always have. Oh. A, they always have. We can't. You can't reason with them. No. Oh no 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 you no. You can't no. be like, oh, clearly I must climb over this because that's never the answer. Uh, so now, this one is actually kind of fun. So like, I love that. The carpets look new. There's a sign on that says step here. It's written in a shaky hand as if the person was laughing. Hmm. Rope, rope stretched across there. Another rope there. Now, if you don't observe these things, you can get tripped up on them. If you do observe them, you're, you're okay. So now I foolishly decided to go around this side anyway. And they start shooting arrows. Okay. Like, they stick in me. What? <laughs> Are you invincible? Oh, no, no, they're hurting. But I miss. Oh. The oh, eyes. You fell. <laughs> that was a very cartoony way to die. Yeah. Quills run up your spine. That's good. That's funny. So I like this, too. There's um, a message written in clear, firm hand saying cross here. And it says that one has two poles supporting it. That one has one. So, like, the shaky hand, they're laughing, so clearly that's, you know, but the other one is written calmly, so that one's okay. Ah. It's, 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 I, I thought this was a clever joke. Uh, not joke, I should say. Clever, clever kind of, like, trap puzzle room when I was young. And if you look at the wires, you can just run past them. Ah, okay. And now, for my favorite part of this game. Uh-oh. This is, I, when I was a kid, this blew my mind. Just the idea of doing something like this. I, I didn't know you were allowed to do this. Let me put it that way. Surprise guest star? So I'm about to be swarmed from all over. So I close and bar the door. And then you have to wait for these guys to go. When they leave, you can block the other door. And then the fun happens. I'm confused. So it's, it's all about, like, if, if I didn't... Um, that's the Three Stooges. Yep. <laughs> that's the Three Stooges. Woo, 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 woo. Rap, rap, rap. <laughs> now, I'm going to die a lot here because this puzzle requires precision timing. And I, it took me a long time to remember how to do this right. Oh, wise guy, eh? I remember the concept, but I didn't get the timing right. So basically, because this is going to take a while, when you come into this room... If you don't close the door behind you, those guys come in and they kill you. Like, no fight, they kill you. You close the door behind you, if you don't go up to the other door, they come in there and they kill you. But you have to wait for them to leave the first door before you can block the second door. Oh. Blocking the second door triggers the Three Stooges. What's the me, 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 me? I, I know them. Me, 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 Oh, that's them sleeping. Yeah. yeah okay. Or, well, um, Curly would do it sometimes, just in general, I think. Truth so you me. have to wait until they, see, you have to wait until they get a little further... And I keep failing. What was the words underneath of that that I didn't even read? Was that oh, even it was just English? Like, Die Drake Knuckelkopfen. Knuckelkopfen. Basically, it's it's knuckleheads in German is what they're oh, going okay. for. Or... So, all right, there we go. So now they go around. Gra this is oh, awesome. I did it too late. <laughs> yeah, I love that they put the three two in this. Yeah, and that's why I said like I didn't know you could like. Really? Like the three to? stooges are a thing. Can you just do that? I don't know. Boom. Got him. And then they do the. <laughs> and then I'm so proud of myself, and no, I'm like no, taking no. a minute to appreciate this and enjoy the room. That like you've seen it before. I forget that they come in the back. Ah. <laughs> but now, now I know what to do. Okay. Now and so swoop, and whoop 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 whoop, and down and into. The wizard's chamber. Which I was, I love that that's just the theme for this game. Oh, I don't like him. <laughs> oh, I don't like him. And that's how he talks. Job hunting. Oh, you see sightseeing? Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah. I foresee a brilliant future for you in the fall. So. He's just a psychic. No, 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 no. Given his weird dialogue uh -huh. and goofy face, uh -huh. he's the quote unquote wizard, but. You could imply that he might be 
A wizard? No, no, no. What am I missing? What am I missing? He's just, he's speaking in like goofy puns. Right. He's here in the castle. I will say this part is not life threatening. There's no death in this area. What am I missing? He is the jester. Ah. Yep. So he's kind of aware. Like you, you talk to him and he knows who you are now. Okay. But he still screws with you. You know who he looks like? Who? Mr. Preferdifer. He kind of does. Yeah. Yeah, without the beard. Yep. Maybe they use the same like clay model. He's got the ear too. Yeah. Someone had to defeat her. On, defeat her on her. <laughs> defend her on her. So idiot. basically, he explains that he followed her after she was enchanted. The enchantment made her like vicious and evil, but he kind of helped to guide her, keep her from doing any real damage. The 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 Minotaur is actually her friend, and he's been protecting her. We didn't kill him. We just knocked him out. Um, and so he's kind of been keeping an eye on her while also preventing people from getting to her because he couldn't fix it. So uh. he also mentions that he, there's a magic mirror that is a dis, uh, not a dispel mirror, but it's like a reflection of spell mirror that he found and he brought it here. So that's mm. a nice little clue for another person that we know. Oh, yes. What's in the box? Oh, the bo you fall out of the box sometimes. You fall out of the box. Oh yeah, just just this place. That's why I said ugh, this place, because this place is just. Uh, if you don't know the proper path for it, which I I I just I looked up the path because I remember it frustrating me as a kid. But now, so I go in because I want to throw a rock at him. Because sometimes if you throw a rock or a dagger, he'll leave. But I realized something. What? Do you realize what I have realized? Did you throw not a rock? No, I threw a rock. But... I'm getting upset, and I clicked on that potion. You know what's not present in there? That I need to finish the game? The potion? The dispel potion. Oh, no! I got the dispel potion before I died a hundred times. Oh! <laughs> and I never saved it. Oh, so, no. like, I, I start dropping things thinking that maybe I couldn't screen down somehow. But nope. Nope. I came oh. all this way. And that's what you can see. I'm like, I'm literally freaking out right now. I'm looking at every object. <laughs> You're like, where is it? <laughs> Why aren't you the potion? Oh, man. So, wait, do you have to go all the way back? And so, I have to go all the way back. Oh, my gosh. Well, could could a key? Could I? Could you see me cycling through the, the options? Maybe it's maybe it's just. Yeah. But you saved so often. You'd I think, did. You think did. that it would be there somehow? But I I died just enough. Oh, this is what happens if you fall off the edge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Mm. All right, all right. That's some weird stuff. So now I'm like, okay, all right, maybe there. So I got the potion. Oh my gosh, you have to do that all over again. And so I, I, I cut this down severely. Don't worry. Just Dead. me killing Dead. a guard because I'm mad. Now you're just like, freaking <laughs> forgot the potion. Gun. There. Walk away. Okay. Like, on top of all this, on top of all this, the world goes crazy. This is like, this is like the And time. I'm like, oh, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. I'll just run it out. I'll just walk it off. Walk it off. Nope. 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 My like gosh. At, least, at least I got here. At least I got here. Again. Again. Part of course, two. Of course. Part two. Because I wasn't, I couldn't be pithy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. You're just so upset about no, the fact that you were. Uh... So upset. And ah, okay. You fixed it. All right. Cool. Now I also. Yes. Realize this time, like you know what? Let's 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 do this thing that I forgot to do. I find the crack in the rock. Uh huh. I use the key. Right. Before I open it. Ah. Uh, so and you're not gonna fight him. Right. So this time he won't be there. Okay. And it's funny because the only thing you can really get from him is fighting experience. He huh. doesn't leave you any gold. So if you think about it, there really isn't a good reason to kill him. Huh. Yeah. Other than to see his goofy face. Other than to see his goofy face. That makes yes. sense. I mean, so, yeah. But I killed him twice, so you saw his goofy face. 
So then I, I we get back here and we get to show you all the you get to see me run through this one more time. And run I shall. We need to use that music in something. Yes. I will. We will. And you would think you would think you had it down by now that I had it down by now. You would think that I could run through this part laughing at the breeze. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> also, do you like that Curly's chair has the smiley face? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I'm guessing Moses the biggest. Of course, of course, Mo gets the big one because he's Mo. Every time my little brother went through a phase where he uh, was absolutely obsessed with the Three Stooges, but Mo in particular. Really? And he would s insist that people call him Mo. Aw. Be like, hey, hey, buddy, how's it going? Call me Mo. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was great. He, he wanted the haircut and everything. I cut out all the times I failed. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I failed like another five times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, three students, now. Not, a, not a bad thing to be, uh, be into. Right. So I just, oh, I just oh, ignore, wow. like, nope, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm done with you. The game is almost over. You could, you could, Ugh, <laughs> Ugh this part. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Jerk. They're smiling. Face. There we go. Now we get to see how this. This is, uh. This is one of those things, like. I think by the time me and my grandfather got to this part of the game when we initially played through it, because we, we had our own playthroughs of it. Like, I had mine, he had his. Right. And occasionally, like, if I got stuck, he'd help me, or, you know, we'd, we'd you know, that sort of thing. I think he played a. I forget if he played Thief or Magic user. He, I definitely played Fighter, but he played one of the other ones. Mm. When we got here, I think this... If it wasn't this point, it was almost to this point where he was like, screw it, and he bought the walkthrough book. Nah. Because <laughs> back then, like... And you you had to order that crap. Yeah, there was no internet. There was no internet. Stuff. I, <laughs> come out over there. Well. And you couldn't even, like... You wouldn't find it in a bookstore. You had to call them. And you could either do the whole, like... You know, talk to them for five bucks a minute, five, ten bucks a minute. Yes. And get hints, or you could call them and order the, the walkthrough book. And so he did. He ordered a lot of the Sierra books. I still have most of them. That's really good, though. That's yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. Because this, I don't even know. This one, I think, was one of the ones, if it wasn't this one, it was Quest for Glory 3, where you had to use a bit of red plastic to see the answers. Yes. I, you, we talked about that before. I love that idea. Yeah. Where it's like it's it's they have to decode it technically, yeah. or there's like hidden words. They did that a lot on um, cereal boxes. Yes, yes. And, um, man, remember when there was like cool prizes in cereal boxes? Oh my gosh, yes. I got I still have a couple of them, but there was a time when I think the and I don't even want to remember this, but when the first Star Wars came out, not not the fourth movie. Oh, Phantom you mean Menace. Phantom Menace. So yeah. I shouldn't say first Star Wars. I should say fourth Star Wars. Right, right. The Phantom Menace came out, and granted, it was terrible and whatever. Oh, but yeah, yeah. merchandising, merchandising. Oh yeah, they were uh, crazy. They had these lightsaber spoons in the cereal boxes. It was the coolest thing. Oh they yeah. Lit, they were like light up cereal, and they, there was those spoons before that that I used to have. That would change color when you dip them in the milk. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff in boxes, but now it's just kind of like. Uh, but one of the, out one of the way, them, out of the way, thud. One of them was the uh, the decoder idea with like some of them were like actually the glasses would would be on your eyes and you could see everything, or you would slide it over with the red paper. Yes. Lots of cool stuff. Oh, and now we're in the bandit leader's room. The bandit leader. So you could pull out your sword and duel, or kapoof. Back to Elsa. And you can't imagine how good it feels to know who I am again. After all these years, remember my name is Elsa von Spielberg. I used to wish I was not the brigand style, but actually an enchanted princess. Now I know that I was really <laughs> enchanted, and I don't thank you so much for freeing me. My eyes are crisscrossed. <laughs> I'm going to go hurry home to father and get his guards to capture the rest of the brigands before they manage to escape with the treasure. Yorick! <laughs> Yorick! I'm me again. 
sorry I um, took so long. <laughs> Will your dad be glad that your spell's been repelled? <laughs> we need to go back to the brigands. They'll know how to spoil our show. You may can't get away before they get in our way. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> York and I can return to the castle with the amulet I wear, but I'm afraid you have to get there on your own. There are two healing potions on my desk, but you may take the one with you. You should use the secret passage and escape while they're arguing over the treasure. If they find you in here, you'll be overwhelmed and tired. <laughs> Thank and you again, and good luck. Sleep. I'll make sure you're richly rewarded for your, um, um, yep. What's that word? What's that word for doing a good job? Doing a good um, job when that? it's, like, against all odds. Yeah. And like it's, uh, like, it could be dangerous. Uh, Foolhardiness. Foolhardiness. So if you didn't catch that there, there was a mirror on the table. There was. If you miss it, you can't finish the game. Did you miss it? No, I got it. Okay. I got it. You can't finish the game. Right. Because you so need you'd have that. to go back to a safe state. Right, right. Right. That's why save early, save often. That was the Sierra Mono. Um, but if you didn't notice it and then you just left and you were like, I didn't really need anything. I guess I finished the part and you get to like... So you would just be confused walking around being like, yeah. what do I do next? Because there was yeah. really no, I mean, you could go, I would, me, I would have gone all the way back to the castle for a reward at this point. Right, right. Which you can, you can, but you don't get the good ending. Right. And now luckily the game was good. And that's the good thing about some of these adventure games. The game is good at telegraphing that. Yorick actually tells you in his dialogue that he stole the mirror from the wizard and he tried to use it, but it didn't work. So you should, you should gather from his dialogue that it's in there somewhere. Wait a second. Is Baba Yaga going to look at herself and realize how ugly she is and get very scared? <laughs> no, no, not quite. Not okay. quite. You're not too far off. Though. Okay, okay. Hey, I love that down. hut. I love that hut. It's just so, ah, uh, with its chicken legs and everything. When I was a kid, this was one of my favorite things. It was just so cool. This the sense of childhood wonder for me. Mm. I'm ch constantly checking to make sure I have it so I don't screw this up. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> this, oh, this it like it episode. does something to me. Yeah, like yeah. that face. It like hits my like. It makes my stomach drop every time I see it. I know, it. right? Ah, hate it. I keep clicking ah. now. I'm like, okay, now. I keep I keep forgetting when to click on her with it. Oh, okay. Shazam! Oh, oh. Uh, you was a rat. You was a toad. You was a frog. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. so it's shooting a spell back. Yep. Classic mirror trick. Yep. Classic mirror joke. And so now she just... She, I She's mean, just you a don't, frog? You don't kill her. You don't kill her. She, But she sends you away, and now... Oh, it's gonna fly away? Yep. Chicken hut. Chicken hut. Chicken hut, chicken hut, chicken hut. For all your pizza chicken needs. For all your KFC and pizza hut needs. Yep. Chicken, hut. chicken hut. Kentucky Fred. Chicken hut. <laughs> Founded by Colonel Yaga. Colonel Yaga, Baba Yaga. And that's that's it. So now we go to, to receive our reward. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh. Yep. Whoa. Oh. Wait. Is this it? So you've become a hero? Yep, I've become a hero. Now I'm, I have become a hero. So now as you notice, my score is a little low. So because, I, of course, now I look Who's around. Who's the guy in the they're, okay, so I'm gonna look at some of them. They are they are the like the producers and the designers and stuff like that. Uh huh. So they got little cameos in there. Um, here's the Corey and and Lorianne Cole there next to Oliver. They're the creators. She gives a little wiggle. <laughs> they all have a tiny little animation for themselves. <laughs> Who's the robot with the computer face at the top there? Uh, I think I get to him. Bob Fischbach. 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 John Bach. Oh yeah, the, the computer face dude is probably one of their like the like tech guys because he doesn't. Uh, I think it was funny that he doesn't. No, that person's just hanging. What's the goofy eyed face thing behind the king's throne? I don't know. I don't what know. What is that? Yep. Don't know. Oh, it's Richard Powell apparently. Okay. But so this is where I realized that because I failed to talk to the merchant and pay for his dinner, um, I don't get the good ending, and he doesn't sweep me away to the to the mystical far off lands. So that's the end that's of the game. That's it. That's it. Wow. That's it. Thanks for coming on this adventure with us, guys. And uh, wow. in the next episode, I'll, I'll show you some fun stuff. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. We did it. Yay. Woo.